In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the easiest press break plays that you can run with young basketball teams. But first, we have to understand what a full court press is trying to do to you. And generally speaking, a full court press is either trying to trap you in these corners, somewhere along the sidelines, or at half court. Because now, if you were to get that ball at half court, and let's say they trapped you, right? If you were here and you couldn't go towards the middle, you couldn't go down court, and obviously you can't go back over half or else it's an over and back call, they have trapped you and you cannot do anything. So that is what these defenses are trying to do to your team. So how are we able to beat them? Well, one of the easiest ways I tell my players is to stay within the volleyball court lines that are generally on every single basketball court. Do not go up the sidelines unless it's given to you, and that way you can, of course, get that ball past half and set up your offense. However, I do teach my players, if you get that ball inbounded to you, look sideline first. And the reason why is because if they are not trapping you, then you can go up sideline and then go middle because now you've beaten that first line of defense. Now that may be controversial for some coaches, but that is a massive secret. If you can get up the sidelines quickly because let's say they just didn't cut off that sideline, well, if you've got that lane, you need to take it. So this first simple inbounds is one, or press break is one that I personally use, which is player two and player three cross. Now there's a very good reason why I like this set is because if the other team is running, let's say a diamond or a one, two, two full court press, then what will generally happen is especially at younger age groups who may not be practicing their full court press, let's say nine year olds or 10 year olds. And yes, up here in Canada, we can full court press, but maybe not everywhere else. These two players, if they were not practicing it enough, when these players cross, these players will also cross, which means that they are now behind these players and it's a free inbounds onto the, into the court, which is good. Now let's say that didn't happen. Let's say they crossed they went out wide, they got that inbounds. At this time, players one and two will try and trap. And now player three should be coming down and trying to cut off that reverse. If that happens, player two needs to go middle and player four, because he's on the opposite side, needs to go middle as well. Player three should have three options. He can pass to five, he can pass to four, or he can pass to two. Preferably, it's these two players up middle because, again, we always want to go up middle. Obviously, if it goes up middle, then we can get the ball down court pretty easily. You've beat it. But let's say, for example, they were not fast enough to get player three down here, which generally, I'm going to tell you right now, happens a lot. It happens almost every single time. And if that's the case, player three reverses back to player one. Player one dribbles down court and tries to look for somebody, one of these two players, who are moving down court. That's going to draw up player five. And now, of course, we are in a three-on-two situation, which as soon as we make this pass, it's now two-on-one. And it should be an easy basket on the way down. Now, if I remember, I will put a video clip of us breaking a zone or a press like this as well. Really quickly, down in the description below, make sure to go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Zone Defense book. It's going to help you trap a lot of teams and double team the low post. Another very simple inbounds is the what I call the 3-1. Now, we run this without even me teaching it. I just basically explained it to a few players at one time and throughout this season. And we just continuously, once in a while, we'll just throw it in there and run it. And I don't know if it's by mistake or not, but either way, it is a play that we like to run. So having three players up, one of them should be open. If they're not, they will set a screen for one of them. And now after that screen, player four will inbound that ball. Player two will then cut down court. And now player one has two options. He can pass to player four or he can pass to player two. If he gets the ball to player two, the press is beat. He can get up court. If it's to player four, it needs to either dribble up court, look for a half court player, or reverse out to player three who can then take it up court. So if we were to have a diamond press that is set up, you will most likely usually have player one trying to cut off the middle, 
And player three will be looking, and player two will be looking to try and intercept the passes wherever they go. Now, if we can get that ball inbounded to player two, this can be a quick pass to player five. We've beat the press without even having to do anything. Now, in most cases, what will what you will see is player three will be covering this guy. Player one's going to be covering here. This is going to be a quick pass to player one. Player one can take a few dribbles down court and look for a half the half court man. Or, in some cases, this will draw player 5, and we will then have player 5 blue go towards middle, 2 down court, 3 down court, player 1's going to hit player 5, and now we are in a 3-on-1 situation going the opposite way, and this should be an easy basket as well. This is another super simple play where there really isn't much going on on the offensive side. It's just, who do we pass to? Middleman, farman, or close man? And then there's different options, always trying to get that ball up middle as much as we possibly can. Anyways, there's two press breaks that you can use. Down in the description is the Unbeatable Basketball Zone Defense book that traps the corners in the half court and doubles the low post. It's fantastic, so definitely go check that out. It's helped a lot of teams win a lot of gold medals.